Welcome back. We are here with another speed build and actually this is going to be the shell of a castle. Now the reason it's just the shell is because this took me two hours just to do the shell. So I think we'll probably have three videos. Um, the shell, the exterior, the interior. The interior might need to be two videos. I'm really not sure yet, but we're going to find out. So first I um, I'm going to try and use a few placeholder objects in order to figure out exactly what size I want the rooms to be. It's kind of hard when you're working on such a large lot. This is the 50 by 50. And you um, want to build like a lot of rooms and stuff. It's kind of hard to decide how big you want everything to be until you see like what the room would look like. So that's going to be the study over there in the corner. And since this is a castle, we wanted to leave enough room for like a sitting area inside the study. Um, I was kind of thinking of Regina Mills' office from Once Upon a Time. So that is what I was thinking the office will look like. And then um, this is the entrance, the like foyer, and it's going to be two-story. And I just wanted to make sure that I could fit... Um, multiple staircases and then have room in between them to put a door. Then a living room, kind of like sitting room area. So that'll have a little bump out and then the dining room. So I just made sure it was big enough for us to put a nice big table in there. And then um, we're gonna have to move over, but not like that. <laughs> I had to move it again. Um, so we are going to add in the other corner of the lot a um like is it called a conservatory a like indoor garden greenhouse type of deal so that's what we're going to put over here in this corner and i'm just bringing it to the edge of the lot this room can be really big. We'll put like lots of plants and trees and like sitting areas and just make it look really nice and pretty. It's not gonna be that big though. We're, we'll move that forward. I just kind of wanted to get the room shape. I didn't realize that the stairs weren't gonna go with me, which is kind of annoying, but you know, we're just accepting it. So um, that is right there. And then um, we will have like a little platform area in there. Did you know that you can't move the whole house if there are different platform sizes? I didn't, which becomes really annoying shortly when I try to move the whole house and that one piece with the platform doesn't want to go with me. So anyway, also I wish that there was a way to just like put down foundation, like draw foundations without using a fence, but we're just going to do our best here. I didn't want to put in a fence yet because I haven't decided like what the fence is going to look like. And I mean, these stairs are just placeholder stairs. They're not really the stairs that are going to be there. So that's the case with everything in this build. I put down some stairs and some doors and different things just to um, indicate where certain things are going to go. But um, I am not going to end up using those for the final build. So like these are the cheapest stairs. I'm just throwing them in so that I know where they're going to go. And then uh, we're going to start to make our way backwards. This is tough. This area was tough for me to figure out because I need, we need a bathroom. Like this is going to be huge. It needs to have a lot of bathrooms in it. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. And um, so it needs at least one bathroom on either side. But also we need a way to get to the kitchen. So I'm thinking that that little room on the left is going to be like a hallway. And then the room on the right will be a bathroom, a mud room. Depends on if I want to put the door from the dining room or from... Yeah, I think that that's going to be a bathroom. So... Yeah, you can see now the platform has to be moved separately, which is, which is super annoying. Um, so actually, what we're going to do on this side here is that room we just built next to the staircase, because of course we need a few staircases because of, um, you know, this is such a large build. 
that you're going to need multiple points of entry. So over there, that's actually going to be the butler's quarters, and then that bathroom that we made is going to be the butler's bathroom because we want the butler's room to be near the kitchen. So over here, we're starting to work on the master suite is going to be going back on the side here. And so that first room is going to be the like wardrobe room. This second room is going to be the bathroom. And then it actually was really tough to figure out the configuration. Um, I am working off a like sort of working off a floor plan here. So I'm just kind of getting some ideas for like how rooms would go and then switching up some things to suit my needs. Um, I have noticed though in a lot of like rich people floor plans, the master suite is on the first floor, which surprised me. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I don't know. The master suite being like off the living room and a lot of these a lot of these uh, floor plans is interesting to me. I feel like you wouldn't want your room to be so accessible. But anyway, I'm trying to work on the shape of this. It's just not, not working. Um, it is not easy to figure this out. I'm probably going to change it like 20 more times before the video is over. So... We are moving this diagonal bit over. So that's going to be the entrance to the master suite. And then you're going to be able to go into the bathroom and into the wardrobe. And then the rest of it is going to be the bedroom area. And then there'll be a like little sitting area and then a deck out back for the, the master suite. That room is going to get bigger. I just wanted to... Um, you know, get a room so I could start dragging it instead of having to worry about the, um, like building a wall and then it not being on the foundation like this. <laughs> um, so anyway, then I wanted to make sure that there'd be enough room for a hot tub over here, but I kind of wanted it to be at the diagonal. So me fiddling around with how big a room has to be to fit a hot tub in it. There we go. So that's going to be outdoor. And then the master suite is going to kind of continue around it. So the um, hot tub is going to be in this kind of alcove on the back deck. So there's that. I also don't know why there's a space there and I don't know how to get rid of it for a little bit. So that's uh, gonna be fun. But anyway. So then we are adding in the sitting area is going to be on the end here. Yeah, here's where I can't figure out how to, yeah. We'll just bring back the deck shortly. So here is the little deck area that goes with the master suite. It is going to be connected to the rest of the back deck. But there's going to be a, like an access point from the master suite. Then over here, this is going to be the kitchen. I still haven't figured out exactly how I want that. And I'm trying to think of, um, so that room that's um, right there behind the stairs is the um, like ballroom, I guess. But I can't figure out um, how big it needs to be. So you're seeing me just kind of mess around with it a little bit because I want it to be large enough that there is like, so, and also I put a little hallway in there so that the master suite wasn't open right to the ballroom. But, um, you know, I was thinking that the, the ballroom needs to be big enough so that there's like a bar, a dance area, maybe a piano, also a, um, a couple of tables for people to eat at, maybe a buffet table. So it really does need to have a lot in it. So um, that's why I expanded it a bit. Then we're going to add a little breakfast nook for the kitchen. And then over here is going to be the like movie theater and also the game room. So that is what's going on here. Um, we do need a TV somewhere in this house because uh, there's not going to be a TV in the living room over there because it's more of like a sitting room. 
So there will be a TV in the movie theater over here. And then also I'll probably put some TVs in the bedrooms. Like if even if it's a like prince or a princess, a teenager is probably still going to have a TV in their bedroom if they're living in a house like this. So um, that is what I'm going with. And then there's a little bathroom right there. And we are going over with the deck, me and my little triangle pieces. So here we go. And um, we're going to connect to, the game room is going to have entry to the deck as well. And then we're going to add a pool. It was not easy to decide how I wanted the pool to look. But um, I think that it turned out okay. We might mess around with it a little more when we start to actually work on the deck. But um, for right now, I think it's a fine placeholder. Maybe we'll put some little, like, a little area next to the pool for, like, kids, like a monkey bars or so. I don't know. Um, we don't have a lot of outdoor space because this is so big. Uh, we have a little outdoor space in the front, which will probably just be, like, you know, manicured lawn. And then there's outdoor space right here behind the conservatory. And I was figuring we'll have like the conservatory go out into like a garden area. So it'll have like um, a little area where there's like little tables and benches and flowers and, you know, stuff for people to have tea parties or, you know, I don't know what rich people do. I read a lot of comics though that um, like um, isekai comics so they have like a lot of people get like into nobility and stuff so that's what we're going with and the um dining room the living room and the foyer are and the ballroom are all going to be two floors and then um oh boy this is the ultimate struggle and i'm not even sure that i know how to fix this but stair, open floor with the stairs. I don't know. Because I only want there to be a fence right there and not with the stair. I don't know. Do I look like I know what I'm doing? You can't make a room that's just like that. Or maybe, maybe I can put remove ceiling instead of remove floor. We are going to have to figure that out later because I know that there's a way to do it, but I do not know the way. <laughs> so not off the top of my head. We're going to have to mess around with it. So there's going to be a little hallway that is kind of like a balcony over the ballroom. Very nice to look at. And um, let's see. This is going to be like a another like game fun area and oh I forgot to add a gym so we're gonna put the gym right there and then um, honestly I don't know how I'm gonna fill up all this space <laughs> we'll see when it gets to it um, I don't even know what came over me I was like you know what we need a castle so that's what's happening we're building a castle and I'm actually really excited about it because I think it's fun. But um, this over here above the master suite is going to be um, like the crown prince or princess room. And it's, um, what's it called? It's, um, it's a nice big suite. It's not as big as the master suite, but I figured that the Crown Royal was going to have a fancier room than everyone else, so it does also include a small bathroom, a uh, closet, a, um, a little sitting area, a balcony, and a craft room, and then actually this has a little tower attached to it, so it'll go upstairs, um, and we'll put some more stuff upstairs, maybe like a little library study type area. So that'll be nice. I kind of think about like, what are you going to have your Sims be doing 
with their free time. So like if you were the crown princess and you liked music, you could have your own music room in your suite, you know? So it kind of depends on what the sim is interested in, but we will um, cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm just enclosing the rest of this space and then we will work on this area over here. Also back um, across from the master suite is like a guest suite. And then we're going to have a balcony here. Right now it's kind of small. We'll fix that in a second. I haven't decided yet how I was going to do it, but I will decide in just a moment. Over here, we're going to have the rest of the bedrooms. So it is actually going to be quite a few bedrooms. It's going to be five bedrooms. And um, actually one of those bedrooms will be the nanny's room. So the nanny's room will be attached to the room that is for like the babies and toddlers. Because, you know, if you're rich, you have a nanny. So this is one of the rooms. It, it actually takes me a few minutes to really figure out the floor plan here. We'll have another little office area here as long with like a game center, like probably like more video games and stuff. And a hallway. So there'll be two bedrooms there and they each get a bathroom. And then three bedrooms up here and they each get a bathroom. But yeah, this, this floor plan part was kind of hard for me to figure out. So there is that. I'm going to put a bathroom in that little nook there because I feel like, you know, there needs to be another bathroom that's accessible to everyone, not like someone's bedroom's bathroom. So here is going to be the area that um, the nanny's room is like, there's a little tiny hallway and it enters into the nanny's room and the toddler room. So that's how that's going to be. And then we're going to add in the balconies. And um, at first I'm not sure how I want to do it, but we're actually going to end up copying just the same as below. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of this. And then I was like, maybe not. Maybe let's add it back in. It, it would be nice. So we are going to add it back in. There's going to be an entry point from that hall right there. There we go. And then the tower for the crown royal. So I'll just put in a staircase really quick. As soon as I figure that out. Um, I did want the, actually, maybe I want the walls to be taller. Maybe not. I haven't decided yet. If I do, then the staircase will take up another square, which I'm not looking forward to. But since the roofs are so high, what I might do is change it to medium wall height so that I can add in some, like, of those balcony windows that I like, and then... After that, we will um, lower the wall height and it'll be okay because the roof will cover the little bit that sticks out the top. Anyway, roofing. The bane of my existence, really. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good way to do this and it is not easy, let me tell you. So um, I couldn't figure out for a second why it was like that and that's because I have the piece backwards. <laughs> um, roofing is not my specialty. So this is how that's going to go. And then we will just fill in as much space as we can and get those side pieces in. And then, yeah, so that's going to wrap up the video. Um, I don't really have anything exciting for you to look at at the end because it's literally just a box. Like it's, it's, nothing special to look at yet so in the next one we'll be doing the exterior it's going to be a lot we'll see how many videos this turns out to be but um, also figuring out how to change those was a huge pain in the butt um, but anyway um, that is what is going to happen in the next one we're going to do the exterior probably the gardens and the deck areas hopefully it won't take too long 
if it does we'll break it up into multiple videos so that is pretty much it um, I hope you enjoyed this and we will continue to work on this build and uh, you can also find this shell up on the gallery if you want to decorate it yourself that's totally fine so that's that and I'm just adding in the last roof pieces here and then we'll be all done thank god I mean this took a really long time <laughs> so anyway uh, this is it for today and I will catch you guys in the next one